were involved in the Wembley weekend finals, which ended on Sunday. The team was on a plane Monday morning to come to Italy. They only played eight exhibition games for the build-up to the World Championships, and four of those games were back in August, Paul. I mean, what kind of preparation is that for a national team to put it together to be the new boys back on the block for Group A? That is not going to win medals. Well, if you compare the preparation to Martin uh, McKay going back and forth, so they have a lot of the British continue to muscle back there with Mike O'Connor doing a great job. Well, Tim Cranston, feisty little character who played. And he's one of the many who have helped to set up the British Players Association. Great Britain. Great Britain now we're caught. Goulda comes up. Goulda waiting for a little support as he continues to skate. Throws it out front. The loose puck is there. Eptyshevsky puts it in the net. It took the Germans 9 minutes and 14 seconds, but they finally have the first goal of the game. And they had to work hard for it. The Brits killing off a couple of penalties. Both teams at full strength. Cote is chasing number eight, Goulda, around the net. The pass comes to the front of the goal, a bit of a broken play, but as McEwen is trying to get back on F. Tuchewski, he gets the shot off. There. Coomer cruising in front. That bounces away. Bullman's now moved into the position right in front of the net. The crowd want the Germans to shoot the puck, but they don't get an opportunity. That comes all the way back. Big shot comes in. Goaltender goes down. Four seconds on the period. Cooper shoots it away, and that's it. The buzzer goes. One or two jeers, as you can hear in the background. Boy, did those German supporters want the shot to come earlier. The Brits putting together a better period than they did against the Rara. Chops it back. The British win the draw, and that comes back. The return pass up the middle is not a good one. O'Connor still in the penalty box for Great Britain. Roughing was the call just at the end of the period. Brandle with time to move. Shot upstairs. Misses the far post. Pushed along. Brandle behind the net is spun around, taken out of the play. Hope is in there mixing it up for Great Britain. One or two sticks getting up as Brandle works behind the net. Brandle wanted that pass to come his way. Um, the boards in Germany now with a lot of time on this power play. The shot goes in and it's knocked away. It's in the net. Big shot from the blue line. Coomer with the rebound. McCoy was down. That's number two. Power play goal. Can't kill penalties off forever and expect to get away with it or stay in the game. The British pay for this one. Curtain back will come back out of the box as the Germans have their second goal on the board. The putt moved back to the point. The shot is taken. Mackay is down. He isn't going to be able to get up as Coomer puts the puck into the open goal. Shot all the way in by Pop was there. Boom did a lot of work. Niederberger and Keenass getting themselves involved as defensemen. The puck going into British territory. Kopp right there as Boom put a couple of moves on. Another power play goal for the Germans. Boom carries on after Keesh blocked right in front of the goal behind the defense. Is Kopp, Cote and Kellen nowhere to be found. Long clearance out and uh, in Britain. Well, they're saying that Cooper's goal is a no goal. High stick. Cooper will not be happy with that. Cooper not showing a lot of emotion. The putt going to the goal. Players in front of Klaus Merck stating their own opinion. The British asking the referee for an explanation as to why the goal doesn't count. Well, I'm still trying to find that high stick. 
the British aren't convinced. It isn't going to matter. The face-off on the high-sticking pass in. Rabant is out there. Cooper now trying to do something with it as he moves up into the hash marks. But Klaus Merrick hasn't really been tested. He's had a couple of shots where he's come up with decent Gets a slight seconds now on the period. Well, there goes the buzzer to end the second period. Two goals scored by the Germans, both on the power play. So that's one thing Dance will have to talk about. Hey, guys, stay out of the penalty box. They know they can't take penalties. It's always going to be difficult enough at even strength. The Germans do seem to be getting stronger. We said that they were laying back and seemed to have slowed their game down a little, but near the end of the period, they came, picked it up again. They are capable of turning it up another notch, I'm, I'm afraid. And the British are really going to have to suck it up and try and come out with a hard third period. The Germans are a fast physical squad, as we said. They're national games. Um, and four of those games were back in August, September last year, so really forget about them. Um, you need to play together a lot in order to play at this level and to develop that understanding. Germany playing from left to right as Merck gets a piece of that. 3-0 the score, the Germans in control of this one, but still 20 minutes of hockey to go. Leutemann getting back in a hurry. Ian Cooper along the boards. High start a piece of that. Loose bucket and they score! Rumrick somehow got in behind the D and slid it along the ice. Mackay beaten for the fourth time in this game. Body for body in the British end. The Germans have one player too many as he's standing in front of Mackay. Kelland again the second time we've seen him cruising back into the play after the fact. The Germans were coming in and Rumerick spins around and puts it into the goal. Rumerick, a class act for Germany, will be happy with that one. 4-0 the score. Goal number four for the Germany was scored by number 26. Mayer for Germany, deep in his own zone, into the circle. Mayer comes out and cuts down the angle and hangs on. Kerr and Conway continue to work hard together. Conway going right to the net as he should as Farrell let the shot go. Farrell. The shot of Kyer Mayer stops it at the blue line. Another one tapped right in. Loose puck. And eventually, McCoy hangs on with Cranston starting to mix it up. Stefan backs off. The action coming right at McCoy again. In front of the goal, Shinko. Dropping his man, Hope getting back in the Brunat series. Big shot, resetting the shot goal. And McCoy doesn't even bother to turn around to see the action behind him with Kopf and Cote mixing it up. Cote doing just what he should do. McCoy had made the save. Cote's out there to make sure nobody gets near his goaltender. That is a smart play. He just takes the German forward right out of it. As a forward, of course, you aren't going to like that, but. You've got to expect it. Good job by Matt Cote. And Mackay had ideas of playing the puck, but made the right decision just to hold on and take the face off. In 10 seconds on the power. Shinko slows it down. Everyone watching the clock. Reutemann goes one way. The pass goes the other. Germany with 10 seconds. Remaining in the game, take it in with Brandel. Pump to the far side, Hope getting a piece of that. Hope goes back on the puck, he's got two seconds, that's it, shut out for Klaus Merrick. And the Germans pick up their first victory of the competition. They now have three points of victory and a tie. The tie came against the Austrians. And the Great Britain side I don't think have anything to be ashamed of. They played some solid hockey. He just didn't have the offensive punch. They were just simply overpowered by the German team who are a better side and seem to be getting stronger. 
in their first two games. They've played better hockey every period that we've seen them so far. Germany ran up against a very physical and close-checking Austrian team and got the 2-2 draw. I guess they figured they should have won that one. But uh, the two points are now in the bag after this victory over Britain. Great Britain with two losses in two starts. 